Welcome to this lesson on importing collections into MongoDB using Robo3T. Our objectives for this lesson are to learn how to create a collection and import data using Robo3T, import documents to a MongoDB collection from a JSON file using Robo3T, and drop a collection using Robo3T. Prerequisites. Before beginning this lesson, you should launch your SBCC VDI Windows Virtual Lab Computer instance and start Robo3T. You should also have handy the information provided by your instructor for connecting and logging into your assigned MongoDB instance. Creating a new collection in MongoDB using Robo3T. Starting with Robo3T running and connected to my MongoDB server, I click on my active connection, which I have named MongoDB Student 01. I then click on System, Local, and then Collections. I double check to make sure that the collection I want to create does not already exist. Next, I right click on Collections and then click on Create Collection. I enter, the, I enter the desired collection name, in this case, restaurants. And click on create. The empty collection has now been created. Importing documents to a MongoDB collection from a JSON file using Robo3T. Previously, you should have downloaded a copy of the JSON file containing the data you wish to import. I have already located this file in File Explorer. I need to open this file using a plain text editor in order to copy the contents to the clipboard. This can be done using a plain text editor such as Notepad, on this system, I have Notepad++ installed, so I will open this file using Notepad++. I select the entire contents of this file using the keyboard command, Control-A, and then copy it to the Windows clipboard using Control-C. I then switch back to my Robo3T window. I want to import this data into the restaurants collection, which I created in a previous step and which is currently empty. I right click the restaurants collection and select insert document. The insert document screen appears and the editor has already provided curly brackets. Since my JSON file already contains the required curly brackets, I do not want to use these. I will highlight them and then press Control V to paste the JSON text I previously copied to the clipboard. This content will replace the selected content, including the curly brackets. Be patient. We are pasting a lot of text, and this may take a few moments. Next, press Save to insert this data into the collection. Again, be patient, as this may take a couple of minutes to complete.
To see the documents you have just inserted into the collection, right-click on the restaurant's collection and select View Documents. Dropping an existing collection from MongoDB. Here, I have Robo3T running and connected to my MongoDB server. I click on my active connection, which I have named MongoDB Student 01, then System, then Local, and finally, Collections to show the available collections. I would like to drop the restaurants collection. I right click on restaurants and then choose drop collection and say yes. The collection has now been dropped. This concludes the lesson.